Hey everyone, welcome back to my Let's Play of Lorelai and the Laser Eyes. Uh, when we last left off, we finally figured out that stupid ass block situation, which was about like five minutes ago for me. Um, and we're going to continue on today. Uh, interesting stuff. So we're finally figuring out sort of the connection between a lot of the, uh, I don't want to say rewards, but things that we've gotten. So we get a key to a year room. From the year room, we get the puzzle box code from that we get a page of uh Lorelai's biography which gives us a name or a, of a person or an art piece or something that triggers a memory she gives us a code that I'm guessing correlates to the year um because they're all like four symbols you can assign a letter to each um I don't know if those directly correlate to the supercomputer I don't remember but we'll see we have them you know I'm writing them down they're in our memories so um, I went to the last horse that we have to put a disc in, uh, and then I think we should be able to do the backyard puzzle, which I'm pretty sure is 1847, I think. That's my guess. Uh, there's so many, so many, oh my god, there's only so many years that this game likes to use. So, wait, does that go? Where does that go? I don't know. We'll just go out the way I know. But anyways, I hope you all are doing well. Um, we're at, what, 74-ish 70, percent? Uh, which feels pretty good. I'm going to be really sad when we're done with this. Because, I mean, I as much as this game scares me, <laughs> I do really enjoy it. Um, puzzles are super fun. I love any game that has a hub where you unlock more of it as you go along. Uh, that's always really fun to me. So... Yeah, I'm going to miss it. Okay, I thought the game was having a moment. Uh, So, did I set up any of these? I think I just did this one, right? Yeah, seven. Uh, Oops. Forty. Is that considered eight? I guess so. We'll go with it. Um, ah, why is it gotta be like that, though? What is this? A greenhouse? Is that paint? Oh my god, okay. I keep getting stuck on the ground. <laughs> oh, Dollar. Oh no, it's a passcode? Nar. Aww. There's 18? Ah, okay. Yeah, I see you. I see you. Okay, okay, okay. Hold on. Let me get a fresh spot. Um, God, what's the easiest way to do this? <laughs> so, do, 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 and I immediately draw it wrong. So we got this one, this one, this one, this one. Uh, so was that one supposed to be like the, I don't, I, pff. do, 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 one, two, three, four, why can't I draw, I guess if I went like this, uh, okay. Yeah, I don't know about this one. Maybe I was actually wrong. <laughs> uh, four? Ten? Okay, maybe, actually. Hold on. There might be hope. I'm guessing you just have to press the squares that they, um, have the vertex, vertices? The vertexes, yeah. The vertices of the number on, or maybe the whole ass number, but I don't know, because it's kind of weird, because it's kind of at an angle, right? So... One, two, 
Okay, let me see how many I need, and then I'll determine which ones of the four we're actually including in this situation. Two, three, one, two. So seven is one, two, three. One, two, three, four, ten. Um, oh god, the seven's hard. Is it like, am I only considering ones where you're like drawing through the middle? I don't know. Usually when it's a bit funky like this, if we're doing only where the vertices are, I guess that's fine. Uh, although vertices is a little weird. I'll try it. Um, wait, can I even do that with this? Oh, I guess I can. Okay, I'll do it. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six. Did I count wrong? Oh, there's only, oh, there's only, oh, there's only, oh. Oh, maybe it's four per each? Oh, wait, hold on. I fucked it. I fucked it. I can't count. <laughs> uh huh. I don't know because like hmm you can see where each number starts right huh maybe it's each change in direction because you'd have okay so you'd have one two one two three four five six so that's eight then you'd have one two three four one two three that's not enough right ah let me just try something one, two, one, two, three. Six. Oh, seven. Did it go back? I don't remember. Oh God. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Oh, we did it. Oh shit, we did it. Okay, the eight has to go back, obviously. So then that, that was the one I was missing. God, that was wild. Oh, Jesus. Forbidden fruit? Uh, why would I want that? A biblical reference? Good idea, senorina. What the fuck? Put it down. The first entertainer in Eden was this snake. As such, it was actually God. It understood the need for action. Isn't that why you came here? You want action and the violence. Go ahead, take it. Uh huh. Now, let's play a real game. <laughs> what the fuck was that? Aha! 
That's brilliant, Signorina. How did you do that? You're a true magician. But then... Where the hell did you hide the real gun? Let's get a little bit uncomfortable in here. Uh, what else did I get? No, oh, the cross key. That's right. Okay. Um. Ooh, God, that was that was something. That was something. Where's the revolver door? It's like up, right? Is it the loft? Oh, it is the loft. Okay, so nope. Uh, four, three. Loop. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, let me get there. Let me get there. Hold on. No, bro, not right now. Wait, I just got a new key, and I'm super amped to go try it. No. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, bro. You picked the worst time, man. Doing your stupid things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Same spiel, different days. A few details. Try to remember. Yeah, I'll do my best. Okay. Uh... Yeah, why are these scenes getting more and more sketchy? Bro straight up losing his mind. Okay, so in the bowl are uh, tres manzanas. Three apples in bowl with glass and chair. Door locked. Probably. I don't think there's anything up there. Yeah, both hands on the door. We've got a chandelier. <laughs> Lamp. I think it's lit. Are the candles lit on this side? They are. Okay, we got a book. Book. And a bell. Again, the chandelier is making an appearance. Um... Bro's got a bloody hand and a gun. A smoking gun. Oh. The fuck did you shoot the gun at, bro? Okay. Smoking gun. Uh, we've got two suitcases outside the desk. Chair. Plus a coat rack with scissors as you do and a fez think learned that from doctor who uh okay i'm suitcase behind desk a uh, key on floor and then one, two, three, four keys in the... So five keys. Five keys. Three suitcases. We've got an envelope. An envelope. So we got two envelopes. We got like a script. And then a cup. And a plant. Okay. It all seems perfectly normal. Perfectly normal here. I remember very well. What was hanging on the coat hanger? Why a scissor and a uh, fez? As it does. Perfectly normal. My notes for this are fucking crazy. <laughs> This matches our information for a line. Thank you. 
Internal hotel reception lobby at night. The woman hyperventilates. The bullet has barely missed her head. She panics and makes her way over to the lobby. As she opens the door, the man is staying there. He's wearing sunglasses. He lowers his smoking revolver. The man, Senorina, thank God I can't see shit in these glasses. <laughs> I thought you were someone else, one of them. That could have ended horribly. The man laughs. Anyway, you will be glad to hear that I have developed an entirely new philosophy for motion pictures. And yes, art in general. The woman, glancing at the revolver, I... The man interrupts. Art must be set free from the tyranny of the beholder. We're releasing it back into space. We're putting on the greatest show that the world has never seen, Signorina. Oh, who are you calling? Was it the magician? Is he telling lies about me? The woman. No, I had to call my aunt. She's... The man. Was it the Americans? The woman, trying to act normal. No, I... I have to work. The man. Oh, I'm keeping you. Let's walk and talk. The woman walks fast and the man strolls beside her. Everyone has a part to play in the revolution. Rudy lacks artistic talent, so he will be Minister of Defense. Do you agree, Signorina? The woman. Yes, Minister of Defense. The man. Signorina, please be serious. Rudy is a Labrador. He does not have the stomach for warfare. The woman tries to find her way out of the hotel, but the man blocks her way by always running in front of her. Signorina, please be serious. We are under siege. The atomic bomb? Very beautiful, but instrumental. They used it politically. A cardinal sin. The woman hurries away. The man rushes after, continuing the conversation. As you know, the maze is a weapon of mass destruction, an endless ride for fascists and critics. The bumper cars have been permanently closed because of a collision. Sabotage, Signorina, sabotage. The man suddenly grabs the woman's arm. Who was on the phone? Was it Sydney? Did he tell you lies about my magic show? The woman, no, I... The man, smiling. Forgive me, Signorina. Here I talk and talk. What I wanted to tell you is that I am waiting for you upstairs. I look serious, so you might want to go check. I am waiting for you upstairs. I looked serious. The woman studies his face in terror. She notices red stains on his cheeks. He hurries away. The woman stands and listens as he runs away. She sneaks back to the main entrance. She pushes the door. It's locked. You panic. You panic. You run through the corridors, pulling handles of every door. They are all locked. You turn at every corner, checking all the windows, locked as well. You will run up and down stairs in panic. You will find yourself in my room. I am not there. I haven't been there this entire time. I am in the real 1963. What the fuck? Please don't jump scare me, bro. The year? What was I doing? Revolver door. I'm okay. All right, let me get there. All right, y'all, here we are at the revolver door. Okay, my cat said I want pets and then said no. Oh lord. Oh ho ho ho. <laughs> the glass is made of plastic. <gasps> oh shoot. Wait, hold on. Left. Left. That's the wrong one. I'm reading the ladies. Hold on. God, this is the reverse of left and right. This is going to be trippy. That is actually so fucking cool, by the way. In terms of a puzzle. Very, very, very interesting. It is wise to look inside a head. His head is mine and my head is yours. How else could a dead man write letters? Magic and money make miracles and the dead walk again. They want me to look crazy, but I can assure you I am not. I have to write this or they will hang us all for violating the aesthetic distance. Or perhaps give us an award for the best ver from dung of the year. I would like to thank Santa Lucia, Lu Lucia? Lucia? and Mammon for this award. It is a miracle. I know you only came here for clues, but I have to play this part. So on the note of miracles, we must consider virgin births. 
We should all be entitled to them. We are all equal here. Fictional, alive, or dead. Hallelujah and happy birthday. The crux of this tomato soup is sadly that we were all born under bad signs. Finally, some astrology. Because I was like, I don't know when I'm ever going to get to any of those puzzles. Born under bad signs. We got April 21st. 1798, December 22nd, 1807, October 18th, the years don't really matter, but I'm writing them just in case, I mean, they're not highlighted, but they might matter, I guess, I don't know, March 19th, 1832, I like hallelujah and happy birthday, that's my favorite thing, <laughs> that was fucking crazy, okay, um, I tried looking inside her head for the answer, just like you, but I cannot trust her. A mess cloudier than the ocean. Her journal is locked. Oh, her journal is locked. That's right. Uh, we only know that she died 116 years ago. Okay. 116, the moon. I asked the moon for answers, but it gave me several dates. March 26th. August 3rd. November... 28th, December 14th, January 10th. Perhaps time is so broken here that they could all be correct. Something terrible must be happening. Okay. Where is the journal again? I'll have to go find it. Anything else here? That I heard creaking, and I'm not okay with that. Uh, okay, that, her journal. Okay, I found the journal, but we need to obviously link it with the moon phases. Um, lunar phases of 1847. So we've got January 10th, which is, oh God. Okay, uh, Jennifer, March 26th, it's gonna be, uh, the same thing, but the opposite, okay, it's gonna go like this, eh. okay, uh, August the 3rd, right down the middle, nice and easy, but on the right side, yeah, okay, filled in on the right. Oh my god, these are the worst circles I've ever drawn in my life. November 28th, okay. And then December 14th. Wow, terrible. Okay, good talk. Uh, da -da -da. We'll go back here. We need... Let's go! Appears to be a journal. Pages are out of order. Oh, God. Uh, Okay, so this we've done. The born under bad signs we still need to do. But that might be uh, for the clock, potentially. Okay. Um, Do we try to do these in order? Interesting. So what's important here? The order or the date? I don't know. So we got Tuesday, January 5th, 
47. Uh, knock on the door. The miracle has arrived in his hand a red rose, which he handed me. But I have seen the likes of him before. Treasure hunters and thieves. This one must be the sorriest of the lot. Was it pity I felt in my callous heart? Now he warms his wet and malodorous feet by my fireplace. My very own mystery, mysterious stranger. Among the many things he calls himself is an optis, optician. Sorry, I can't read. And an illusionist, though it is clear that he's little more than a sideshow magician. This house and I could certainly use some magic. Sunday. Uh, January 10th, 1847. Eyes are meant for gathering nuts and scanning for wild beasts. Human eyes look but do not see. Art demands vision, and artists must not be held back by eyes. Tonight I will make my ascension. I will fade into the crimson and become matter. I will not be an artist. I will not be art. I will be the raw material. I will be magic. All left of my earthly self will be a rose. Okay. Thursday, January 7th. 1847. My eyes have been reborn. Everything is new again. My eyes are those of a child. I had forgotten beauty. The magician was as surprised as me. He never thought the vermilion tears would work. The cure was the most excruciating pain I have ever felt. As the drops fell in my eyes, it felt like my eyes boiled like eggs inside my skull. At the end, it felt like I was a pot of boiling red pain. But thank the eye then, my first colleagues appeared before me in a vision. Mere apes like me, they painted a crimson maze on the cavern wall, the very first piece of art. Their red eyes met mine in quiet understanding. An ancient conspiracy was shared. How long was I sleeping? Am I allowed to write about the maze? Am I allowed to write about the third eye? Am I allowed to write about the red beast? Words cannot do them justice anyhow. Ooh. Saturday... January 9th, 1847. The magician is afraid of his hat. Truthfully, he is afraid of everything. Is it because his eyes are old and tired? Or is it because he is not a true artist? I am still fond of him, but his gloomy chatter interferes with my work. Things have started to appear in my house. Objects and rooms and fantasies. Soon there will be a theater. The magician believes that we are still in the maze. He is wrong and right. I have been there since I was a little girl. We saw me. All day we could hear the sound of ticking. The magician and I searched at length for the clock. Its hands had stopped moving, yet time passed. We have lived for, lived for years these days. Wait, really quick. What? Okay. Uh, yet we are not getting older. My wrist aches terribly, but it is from the never-ending brush strokes, not age. If I do not control myself, I paint. Art flows through my veins now. It is wonderful and terrible. Can I write about the maze man? I think I know what he is. Monday. January 4th. Okay. 1847. Uh, the winter sun came out today. It painted the garden in the most generous colors. I could see its beauty, but all details had been stripped. Mother Nature only deigns to show me drawings from her sketchbook. Soon I will not even see the outlines. Will I be even lonelier in the dark, I wonder? Spent the evening in my studio. What I paint now will soon be unseen even by me. Hmm. Oh, shit, there's more? Oops, just kidding. Friday. January 8th. Seven journeyed in silk robes and tattered rags, gilded wagons, and on bloody souls. Oh, we read this before, didn't we, somewhere? Sister Moon, Brother Mars, Brother Mercury, Brother Jupiter, Sister Venus, Brother Saturn, and Sister Sun, the red eye searching for what had been lost. Cosmic words spoken by the magician as he made the shadows of his long-dead brothers come alive on the walls in an act of true magic. I could see them travel in gilded wagons on the first roads built by man. I could see them walk on bloody souls through endless scorched deserts. The red eyes forever looking to the sky in search of what had been lost to them and forgotten by the rest of us until now. I have lived all my life in proximity of a cosmic beauty without ever knowing. It was right there in my father's maze. Thought it was a simple treasure, but it is much more. Entity, God, element. The human language is much too limited to describe such a thing as the eye. My stranger, no longer a stranger, was surprised to find it. I think he had given up on his dream, but it was here. He wept at great length afterward. His eyes are now like roses. He warns me to be cautious. 
Why is he so fearful? He cannot deny its power for long. Dear God. Wednesday? Jan 6, 18, 47. Can I help but believe that his journey has been a long one? Beneath the oily courtesy thumps a broken heart. This is the end of the road for him. I left my jewelry box open to test him, but it is left untouched as I thought it would be. I know what he is looking for. I've never seen it, but I know it's here. But I will hold him to his word. He must cure me, which is an absurd notion. He claims that my eyes are dying because of lack of entertainment. That is his medical opinion. He showed me an endless series of images on his... Erythrotrope? Uh, Erythrotrope. Few of which I could see what they represented. It was amusing, but became tedious after a while. Still, I played along. Next, he will treat me with a miracle tincture he calls Vermilion Tears. I suppose him failing to cure me somehow will be an empty victory. Ah, so, okay, so I was kind of thinking that in one of the earlier things, was she going blind? Is that what it is? I don't get what these dates have, like, the days. Why are the days highlighted? Like, I don't 100% get why I have the days. Like, what does that tell me? Like, I... I can see it giving me an order, but obviously if I put them in order, it's just gonna be... Okay. It's just gonna be, you know, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. I mean, that's, a, that's the order of that, but... um. Okay. So... I'm curious if we have what we need to unlock the clock. Oh, I was like, why aren't I moving? I'm stuck on a wall. Uh, okay, so down left. Interesting. So that was... Uh, Renate and the magician meeting? Lorenzo? One, two, three, four. Oh, yeah, I have four. Okay. Um. Oh, my God. Hi, Nibbles. Why did you just throw... Not throw up. Jump up like that. Astrology? Uh. Born under a bad sign. What does that mean? A bad sign. April 21st? So that's Taurus? Taurus. Hey, don't touch that. Come on. Which looks like a bug. December 22nd is Capricornus. Capric. Which is... Noodle N. Uh, okay, October 18th. October 18th is Libra, which is easy enough to draw. It looks like Ohm. Um, March 19th, March, March, Pisces, fish. That's one, two, three. Okay. So I have that, but then... How do I rotate this again? Oh. Uh. Do I go in or to out? Maybe. Taurus? Uh. Capricorn? Is it always crap? Cap Crap, yeah, Capricorn. Capricornus. I never hear the us at the end of it. I feel like we always just say Capricorn. Unless it's like a different uh different thing. Uh Libra. That sound is very aesthetically pleasing. I love it. Uh Pisces. Oh, of course it's all the way. Don't worry, I'll go all the way around, that's fine. No?
Is it the other way? I mean, I'll try it. Uh... I'm not gonna throw it out, just in case it's right. And it, oh, I just moved the wrong one. God damn it. <laughs> yeah, da, 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 da. is that right? There we go. All right, just had to. F what is that? What is that? Oh, wait, where do we see that? Uh, hold on. I had, I know I wrote it down. I drew it. Oh, it was on the back of a cross. Uh, huh. What is this? Ah. Uh huh. Oh, um. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, are those the signs of the days of the week? Hold on. Um. Okay, okay. I remember... Okay, so I made a note, and then I remember saying, uh, if I ever need the symbols, I'll look them up because I don't know them. So they might be in a note here, but I also just... Okay, I just pulled it up. So, oh god. Um, hold on. Okay, let me... Real quick. Okay, so Monday is obviously... Monday's moon. Mars is Tuesday. Mercury is Wednesday. Uh, Jupiter is Thursday. Venus is Friday. Saturn is Saturday. And then s the sun is Sunday. I was like, why did I just write Sunday? <laughs> I wrote sun. Okay, okay. So here we go. We're back in. Now, oh, should I put it in the order the journal was in? You think, or I, I'm gonna try that first. So Mars is just not do it right. Mars, the sun is the dot. Okay. Uh, Jupiter is the four, right? Yeah. Thank you, Sailor Moon. Uh, <laughs> Saturn is that. The moon looks like the moon. Oh, is that the moon? It's a C. Okay, that's fair. I mean, it does look like the moon, I guess. Venus is... It looks like the gender sign. But without the the ears. Yeah, there we go. Venus and then Mercury. Let's fucking go, man. Is that a key? The what? Triketra? What the fuck is that? Is that the name of that shape? Tr I can't even draw it. Hold on. <laughs> Don't look at me. Where does that go? Do I know? Um... I don't know. Do I? Triketra? Sorry, I thought homeboy was showing up again. Interesting. Well, uh... Triketra? I don't know, but we can go to the church. So let's go to the church real quick. We do have the key for that. Don't bark, dog. You scare me every time. Is he napping? Oh, no. There he is. Hi, Rudy. 
Okay. Oh, interesting. I'm so glad that worked out. I'm glad that we finally got to that. <laughs> I felt bad because I thought I was missing something because we hadn't gotten anything to do with astrology, like, ever. All right. I have... Oh, there's a symbol. 1932 to... Oh. Hold on. Let me let me scope out. Oh, 18... Oh. There is multiple or... Interesting. Um... Does a certain one open this? An inscription encircles a Triketra on the gate. Second and last. The youngest to pass. Third and fourth. One who met fate after 40 years. First and fifth. She who lived in two centuries. Second and last. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six. Second youngest to pass. So I gotta enter the key twice in each of the things? Youngest to pass. Third and fourth, 40 years old. First and fifth, two centuries. Remember me for centuries. Thank you, Fallout Boy. Um, that's thirty-nine. Is that forty? Are we counting that as forty? Hold on, thirty-nine. That's two centuries, right? 1900 and tw 20, 100, tw <laughs> so that's 1932 to 2014, 1932 to 2014, the 39 might be 40 years old because I don't know, depending on when their birthday is, I guess, I don't know, math is weird, uh, nope, that's it, That that's 40, okay, so the other one was 39, when they died, 1807 to 1847. 1807, 1847. Okay. So, this one goes first. And then this one. 1924 to 1963. 1924. 1963. Okay. Oops. Then we go that. Very interesting puzzle. We do this one twice. Oh, is it turning the key, the key teeth to where we need them to be? That's a very cool idea. Uh, two centuries? Is that you? Yeah. I really like that. That's actually really cool. And it mechanically makes sense. I mean, that could happen. I wouldn't want to have to be the one to design it, but it could happen. <laughs> I don't want to go into a mausoleum. <gasps> How many tombs are by the mausoleum? Three. Oh, well, butter me and call me biscuit. <laughs> I don't want to go down there, bro.
Why was the loading screen so long? Figure out the catacomb panels? Okay. Okay. ever tell you how badly I do with scary things? Three tombstones! I cannot believe... I, I mean, like, to be fair, we hadn't been at the cemetery place in, like, literally forever. Forgot that was even a thing, honestly. Also did not even think about the tombstones inside. I just remembered we need a key for that gate. Do I know what to do with that? I don't think I do. Hi, Rudy. What's going on? Home skilly biscuits. Okay, so... We have the mausoleum answer. Am I going the right way? I think I do. So three. Maybe that'll get us another room key. I think we need another piece of information that tells us about the address of Persa, Persa, I don't know what it's called. Persephone. I don't, I don't even know how we got to that person because like every time I try to like get back to the mausoleum guy, I do somehow uh, without really paying attention to where I'm going. So let me get back to him real quick. How many tombstones are by the mausoleum? Well, I'm glad you asked. That's three. Hey, if it's not that, I'm going to throw this computer out this window. Thank God. Ugh. That was so, so confusing. Okay. Um. Love a dead end. Is this going to even give me anything new or is that a shortcut? I feel like that was a shortcut. Wait, hold on. Haven't I gotten this one? <gasps> I haven't. If here is not a place, then this key must not be mine. 53. Okay, lit. Uh. I feel like I've come down here before, but maybe there's a dude block in the way. I sure hope so, because otherwise I'm going to feel like a big dumb. Oh, yeah, there he is. Hey, bro. Okay. Yeah, Pedersen. I don't know who that is. There's the room for cowards in the brotherhood. You think I care, bro? I don't be in your brotherhood. Where am I? Is that the one I just got? It is. Okay, hold on. This might be a new path. I'm not 100% certain. I would assume so. Uh, ah, a door. Either that or I accidentally walked out that door without finding that key. Which, you know, if I was a betting woman, I would not bet that was impossible. Okay, so there's a door right there. Easy way to get out. What do you got? Decimus? Have we talked to Decimus? Okay. What is Diedrich's phone number? Diedrich? Wait, how did he spell it? Dieterich or Dietrich? Are they trying to trick me? Because that's rude. <laughs> First of all. Second of all. That's mean. Okay, so wait. Uh, I'm going to write them both and see how he spelled it. D -der I think it's the Dieterich. 42, 19, 35. Dietrich. Died, died, died. 77. 81, 12. Oh, on what street does Patterson live? Is that what they want? Is P? Ah, Wolf Street? 
Is that what they want? Isn't it a number? 15? Is that... Wolf Street 15? Oh. Yeah, Dieter, Dieterich. Okay, we got, don't look at that one, Allison. Okay. I got you, homeboy. 40... Two, nineteen, thirty-five. Enter. You tell me that's wrong, I'm gonna fire you. Okay, we're good. Okay, so maybe they just want the number of the street he lives on. I guess. Where am I? Key? If I exist as much as the maze, then this key must not be mine. 62, that scared me. I really do want, do not want to go in the 63 after that whole disaster he mentioned earlier. Okay, wait, I kind of want to go answer the other guy. I, I can't tell if when I leave out a door... They send me back out the door I came through, or not? Because if that's the case, I don't want to have to walk all the way back. There he is. So what exactly does he ask? And what street number? Yeah, it's 15, right? Yeah. Maybe that's a shortcut back here? I don't know. Correct. Snap, crackle, pop, rice, crispies. Okay, good talk. I think this goes back to where we've been. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. So, I guess we can keep going. Theoretically. Uh, go down. Am I going the right way? I don't actually know. Is this the door? God, I wish I could just see the map all at once. I mean, I guess that's part of the challenge, but also, like... Another door. Okay. Oh, God, is this going to bring me there? I'm kind of scared to see... Oh! How does he manage to scare me every time? How many minutes after midnight did Andreas Coleman arrive at Hotel Let's Tez Yar? I don't know. Andre, who is that? Andreas Coleman arrived at Hotel Let's Tez Yar at a quarter past midnight. 12.15. God, I was checking everything. Quarter past midnight. 15. Truth above all. Wait, a quarter past midnight? Yeah, 15. Sorry, I just had a crisis where I thought of a quarter being 25 cents, and I swear to God, if it's 25... A quarter of an hour. Oh, God. Can you imagine? I would have refunded the game. No, I think it's been too long for me to refund it. Okay. Why are the chandeliers like this? They always been like this? Why do I need a map right there for? <laughs> Hello. If he dreamed me, then this key must not be mine. Thank you. Okay, we're almost there. That's kind of scary. Maybe this will help us actually open the one in the real world, question mark. And the other ghost world? I don't really know if it's real or not. Uh. Hey, bro. Please, I don't know. Okay. 
Which room did the dead woman's key lead to? Uh... Eighteen forty-seven. Okay, cat. Okay, I'm gonna go with eighteen forty-seven because I'm pretty sure by dead woman he means the woman in the backyard, which that's where the ghost is, right? That's where. Oh god, there's a mirror in this his room too. Eighteen forty-seven. So she, I wonder if she's the one who died at 40, then. Okay. Please don't give me 1963, because I really don't want it. If I am but a story, then this key must not be mine. Okay. Whew. I don't want it. Oh, we're not there yet. Never mind. I was tripping over nothing. Okay. See, I want to go out the room just so I can save, but I'm afraid it's going to bring me back to wherever the hell I was a while ago. You know what I mean? I'm trying to see how much more we have, though. I might just do it. Because I want to save. And I think this episode is long enough. So I'm going to call it there and then we'll go explore those rooms next time. So hey, thank you all so much for watching. I hope you're still enjoying the series. As always, feel free to leave a like, comment, favorite, or subscribe, whatever y'all are feeling. And until the next time, lights off, dark out.